so Taurus is really quite the unique film, uh, to say the least. Uh, I love that it has this David Lynchian uh, fever dream element to it. What about Tim's material really caught your interest to want to be a part of it? Um, I really loved his first film, Pavilion, because uh, I think his first three films, I might be wrong, but his first couple of films were just short stories that he wrote. And then the rest of it was improvised. He has this very like free, uh, loose style of shooting. And so I thought that that was really cool. And also my first conversation with him, I was like, oh, I love him. I want to be his bud. So yeah, that was it. And, and when you shoot with him, he kind of just lets you do whatever you want. He'll, he'll be like, you know, Colson was playing the piano and I was on a break and they were shooting Colson and he was like, Maddie, get in here. And then he just like, let me walk in and just be Alana and do whatever the fuck I wanted, which made me really happy. Sounds like a, uh, an interesting collaborative experience to have to say the least. So what is that then like getting to the heart of your character when you're given that much free reign, but also still have a, a script to work off of? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I didn't think about it that much. It all felt really natural and easy. Uh, I think the trust element helps in any relationship because then communicating or working or whatever you're doing is just, you know, it just happens. You're not thinking about it. So then what was it like developing your relationship with Cole uh, Colson for this one? Because, I mean, you two have this great brother sister dynamic. And to the point, I couldn't tell whether or not you were actually related in the film. Um, we you are. are. OK, yeah, we are. So so what was it like developing that, that rapport with him? Um, I think it came really naturally. He's like a big kid. Um, and I think I I. I we fell into our roles in real life and in a very natural way. That's our dynamic anyway. I'm kind of like steady and he's kind of like all over the place, like a teenage boy. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it just worked out perfectly. It was perfect, Grant. Good. That's, that's <laughs> always good. <laughs> you don't often hear people say it was perfect. So I love to hear it. Yeah. Um, was there any one scene then that you found to be the most challenging uh, to to put to help put together? Ooh, let me think. What was challenging? I don't know that anything was really that. You know, the one scene that I found to be challenging for me was the scene at the end where I'm eating a, a Burger King Whopper and and sobbing at the same time just physically eating and crying at the same time is actually quite difficult. So I think that emotionally fine. <laughs> I was doing great that day. Um, but physically it was hard. How many takes did that require? Uh, I was curious watching it. Cause you know, like you say, that's not easy to do those two things. So how, how much did it require? I don't remember. I kept asking for more takes because I'm very like self-punishing, I think. And then I ended up eating, I don't know, like 10 full Whoppers, which wow. was fun and felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I felt amazing after. Had, had your whole calories for the, for the week there, right? <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> It's okay. I, I I would eat that in one day and and not think about it. So <laughs> you're okay. Um, Grant, what's going on with you? Uh, everything's okay. <laughs> okay. I believe you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate. Yeah. It. Um, so since you mentioned that you were also given a lot of free reign, one thing I I love hearing about uh, with independent productions like this is how involved you are in, or how involved the actors are in finding the look of their character. And oftentimes they'll bring their own wardrobe in uh, for that. And I'm curious, did you have that experience with this one? And if you did, what were some of your favorite pieces to, to bring to this character? I did, I brought some jeans that she wears. They're like old Wranglers that looked cool. They were my sisters, I stole them. Um, and Tim, I think in the beginning, he wanted me to wear skinny jeans he was like I want her to look really cool like I want her to look like slick and wear skinny jeans and I was like Tim my guy skinny jeans aren't cool anymore and he was like really and I was like yeah and he was like you just pick what you want um 
so that was good. It was a smart move on his part to hand it over to me. Was there any one look that you almost weren't certain about uh, helping put together for your character in this film? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, I think they all look great in the film, so I'm, I'm, I, uh, they came together well. Um, one of the big scenes I, I also really love in this film is the one between Coulson and, and Megan uh, in the recording studio. That was a really powerful one to watch. And were, were you able to be on set that day and see it happen? And, and if so, what was it like watching that go down? I loved it. I love watching arguing. I loved it so much. And Megan kept wanting to go again which was school and Colson was like, please, can we stop? <laughs> hey, I'm doing an interview on Zoom right now. I cannot talk. <laughs> it's okay, love you, bye. Everybody's always wanting to interrupt during interviews, right? <laughs> I've had a lot happen so far. Yeah, I mean you're 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 very sought after. So Could I have taken it. Up to you. I'm Imagine here. Imagine if I had taken it. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably had worse in interviews than if you had taken it. So that's the worst thing that's happened. And who was it? Name names. Oh, I'm not naming names. I can't name names. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. Just um, some some people were very. They got cold when I asked certain questions, and it was like, oh, okay. Should Next I moment. get cold? very cold they were just like they didn't like the questions i guess and i was like oh okay bye i'm but, gonna hold the next question you ask just to like spice it up oh okay i like it i like the thought um so this film ends on quite the note uh I'm, I'm trying not to go too far into spoilers but at the same time it's a really i mean we've talked about it a little bit in terms of what happens with your character but i mean what was your reaction like when you learned what was going to be the ending and and what it all entailed um oh i was gonna get cold i forgot i'm not going to though <laughs> i can't do that to you you're too sweet okay what was my reaction i think i cried when i read it it's very sad yeah i cried and then when i was uh on set i think shooting the whopper scene <laughs> yeah i think it, it just sadness I don't know. I don't have another word. I mean, that's that's the right emotion. I feel it's it's what goes it, that song too, especially that plays over all of that is is also just uh, amazing. And uh, um, what was your reaction like when you actually got to listen to that song? Did you hear it before you saw the the final cut of the film, or did you have to wait to hear it? Yeah, Colson showed it to me in the car. We were on set one day, and I was really excited. This is what I did. I was like, ah, oh, this is what I did. <laughs> yeah that was it you got so all hyped up reaction. i was very hyped up <laughs> which is saying. it's like the antithesis of the emotion of the song <laughs> 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 but hey i mean everybody reacts differently to music we're so. all different exactly you gotta you gotta you gotta be you that's that's what's important oh uh, the space to do that <laughs> Thanks everybody for... deserves that space to do that so yeah. you gotta you gotta be you um now how are you feeling about uh the film coming up to the release i mean have you heard much feedback from people outside of the production on on how they've felt about the film oh no i haven't but i'm very excited for it to be out i'm really excited i feel very proud of tim i love him so much and i'm excited for people to get to see more of his work I think uh, I, I think the cast that this film has definitely is going to help put a lot of eyes on it. Uh, really? and I'm, the cast uh, that this film has. Well, you, first and foremost. <laughs> uh, and then everybody else around you. <laughs> I can't remember uh, who was in it. Um, no, I, I, think, uh, I think there was some guy named like Colson, maybe? Something like that, or Cole? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. all blonde. Yes. 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 There you go. <laughs> um, I, I see I'm almost out of time. So before I let you go, uh I, I pointed it out earlier, but I loved Malignant. Uh the more I watch the more I rewatch it, the more I have fun with it. And we had talked about it last time I had talked with you, but um James keeps teasing ideas for a sequel. And I'm curious if you've heard any of those. 
and what your thoughts are on on a possible sequel uh, you know whatever man i'll show up <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't spoken to me personally about it. Well, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed then that he he speaks to you because uh, I would yeah. love to see more. I'll let you know. I'll let okay. you know. Please, please do. Because uh, I, I want more of, of that world. Uh, it's such a <laughs> such a unique world. I remember you couldn't tell me much about it last time we talked. You had to like be all secretive and vague. And I was like, OK, yeah. I'll just wait and see. Yeah. And uh I, I love it. I can't. I have to be secret and secretive and vague now. Okay, so you may know something, and you're just having to you're having to keep it under lock and key. I, I get it. Yeah, let's keep <laughs> let's keep it sexy. Let's keep it mysterious. I don't know anything. Maybe, <laughs> I, do. Maybe I do. Maybe you do. We'll we'll uh we'll we'll find out eventually. <laughs> well, Maddie, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. It's great always getting to chat with you, and uh, I really look forward to spreading the word about this film. Thanks. Is that a mummy t-shirt? The mummy? It is actually. I want that. Where did you get that? It's a uh, it's super yaki shop. It's online. Um, you spell that. Uh, super and then Y A K I, um, and they actually have a malignant shirt, uh, which do they? Uh, they do. <laughs> And I wanted to wear it, but it, it hasn't arrived yet. So I was like, all right, I'll throw malignant up in the background at least to show some love. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I'm getting that shirt, by the way. The next time we speak, I will be wearing it. Love it. I look forward to to getting to see it. So thank you again so much. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend.